everyone. This is the video on how I made my skis, my homemade skis, and the binding mounting process. So I first start off by finding the center line. I'm using a square that has an adjustable fence, and essentially I'm just splitting the difference after I put it on the side. Then what I want to do is use the lines that I used for my ski from the beginning. Mark which I'm going to use, which is why there's one black line in particular that you see. And since I have a 28 and a half size ski boot, I mark the center on that line. And in between the centers, I use these drill guides, which you can find online. Line up the center line with both center lines, and line up the 28 and a half boot line with the line I am going off. And then I take a center punch and punch out all the holes. You can print out two drill guides and tape each one down to your ski, which means it'll probably be more accurate. And I suggest doing that. The next thing you want to do is set the depth on your drill press, or if you have a drill, I'd tape off the drill bit and just use a hand drill. Use a drill bit that is slightly smaller than the screws that your bindings came with, so that they bite into the thread. Once you've done that, you want to take your binding and mount it, essentially by just putting a lot of pressure and screwing those slightly bigger screws than the hole into the holes. After you've finished mounting your front ski binding, I strongly suggest mounting one at a time, it's much easier. Uh, you can go ahead and mount your other one the same way and I would suggest doing the front before you do the back and make sure you align your ski boot in the right spot so that the binding has just enough adjustment so your boot does not wiggle at all and here you can see I skipped the whole drilling out the holes part and I'm just screwing in the back binding Thanks for watching, and the final video on my skis will be when I test them out on the snow, where I'll show a full showcase of them. Thank you.